Hey there, this is Heather with TubeLooms.com and in this Lightroom tutorial I'm going to explain to you what a Lightroom catalog is, how it works, and how you can get started with using one. So if you are new to Lightroom or even if you've been using it for a little while and you still don't understand exactly what the catalog is for, then this video is going to be very helpful. So basically what the Lightroom catalog is, it's a reference to your photos. It stores information. Um, that you apply inside of Lightroom. So it stores metadata, keywords, um, all of the stuff over here that you change in the library mo module as well as the develop module. Any changes that you make in Lightroom are stored in the catalog and they're not actually applied to your original photos. So that's what makes Lightroom non-destructive is that it's storing all of this information in the catalog so Lightroom can reference this information and your original photos are untouched. So if I go over here to the develop module, I can show you the effects that I changed on this photo. I can go into my original fi uh, folder file on my computer and I can pull up this exact image and you're not going to see these changes, you're going to see the original. So this is only applied to your photo when you go to your library module and you export. So essentially when you are exporting your photos um, in Lightroom, you're making a copy of the photo. So the copy of the photo has all these changes made to it, but your original photo is left untouched, which is really great because if you want to go back in time and or you want to go back to your photos and re-edit them or add new things to them, you can without harming your original photo. So basically that's how the catalog works. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up a catalog. It's really easy to do. If you've never used Lightroom before, um, this is a good video to start with. If you have, and when you first open Lightroom, you're going to be prompted to create a catalog. So it's going to prompt you to do this. You're going to have to do it right off the bat, otherwise you can't use Lightroom. So I'm going to come over here and create a new catalog. Now I don't want to actually create a new catalog because I already have one created. You don't want to start using more than one catalog because that's going to just get messy down the road. You want to keep everything in one catalog and then use your filing, your folder filing system inside of the catalog to organize your photos. Now you can make copies of this catalog to work on a different computer and whatnot. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but that's an option too. So you just want to work with one Lightroom catalog, otherwise things can get pretty confusing and messy down the road. So as you can see, this is where my catalog is stored. No, normally when you open up Lightroom for the first time and you're creating a new catalog, Lightroom will open your pictures library. And this is where the default is set for Lightroom. So if you want to create a new catalog in a different location, you can just pick this location anywhere. If you have a um, external hard drive, you can store it there um, anywhere that you like. So mine is actually on my hard drive under my pictures uh, folder. So you can see I don't have any other pictures in this folder. I just have my catalog and I can double click on this catalog and you can see where my catalog is actually stored. So this is my catalog. These are the catalog previews and then these are my uh, folders which I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to click in the 2014 folder and you can see my three different folders inside of this. This is basically my folder hierarchy that I created in Lightroom. Now if you're wanting to organize your folders in Lightroom, do it in Lightroom and not on um, through your computer, through your, um, your picture library. So if I were to go under photography, you can see that I have these three folders and whatnot. So this is how I set it up in Lightroom. So I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to create another catalog, but this is how you create a catalog or where your catalog is stored. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. 
So down here, you can see where my catalog is, and you can see all the photographs that I have in my catalog. And then if I come down here to folders, you can see where my folders are being stored on my hard drive. And then you can see the four folders that I had initially set up, where I showed you that are on my hard drive. And then I can come down here, and then I had the three the three folders inside my 2014 folder. So really easy um, to keep everything organized in one catalog. So that's basically how to create a catalog and what they're used for. Like I said, catalogs are used to store your information through in Lightroom, so this is non-destructive. So if you were to rate your photos, color coordinate them, or color rate them, um, add keywords, metadata, all this is going to be stored in the catalog where I showed you. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you want to dig in deeper to Lightroom and learning the ins and outs of the library module, um, I really urge you to check out my Lightroom Lush eCourse. Um, I will leave a link to the course in the comments below. It's basically a four-week eCourse where you learn the ins and outs of the Lightroom module and the develop module to get your um, give you a good start to editing in Lightroom. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you also subscribe to my YouTube channel where I will give out free weekly Lightroom videos. So stay tuned and thanks for tuning in today. See you soon.